What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a damn early start here in the north of England. I'm in Liverpool today and I woke up at about half past four in the morning and took a four hour ride in my Audi A1 up the M1 and up the M6 to a very special place that I can't believe that I'm filming at today and today is gonna be insanely interesting and one that I cannot wait to get stuck into. I am here. This is our humble abode. So yeah, obviously it's no uh, Jaguar Land Rover, but it's, uh, it's a little bit more hands-on here. So uh, we've got all the cars in their first part of the process here, getting their engines put in, wiring loom over there with Jay, engine's gearbox, and it moves over to body fit. All the fully carbon bodywork gets put on, whether it's visible or painted. Then the customer comes in, has a seat fitting chassis done, custom molded seat, custom molded hand grips, goes onto the setup patch, gets set up, comes into the middle for final prep and cleaned, into the service bay, fueled, and then we go out onto the little runway, which is what we'll do today. <laughs> Okay, the day begins brake testing. The way that they brake test their cars, because it's carbon ceramic brakes, they have to do it from a speed of around 120 miles an hour back to zero to bed the brakes in. So you can't do that on a normal road. So, because they're located incredibly close to the Liverpool airport, the John Lennon airport, that's where we're headed now. And Ollie is saying that it's quite weird to be doing this sort of testing next to EasyJet Boeing 737s or whatever the, whatever the planes are and uh, yeah I'm headed there to follow to document to vlog to film Ollie do this testing and uh, and then I'm getting behind the wheel of one myself which I'm kind of nervous about but at the same time bloody excited <laughs> That's how the uh, vehicle testing is going to begin now. And there we have it, testing done. It was short but sweet. Awesome to get out onto what was essentially the Liverpool John Lennon Airport runway and have the fire crew blocking it off so that Ollie could drive up and down in the BAC mono. Just crazy, absolutely crazy. And just so damn awesome that BAC mono, as Ollie drives past, have got access to that facility to test their brakes and bed them in and do all sorts of all sorts of stuff on, on a runway. Kind of lost for words. Now we are heading back to the factory and the rain has stopped, which is ideal because I am going to have a go in one of these cars myself. 
I am going out in the first ever BAC Mono. It's got just under 300 brake horsepower and weighs around 600 kilos. So power to weight ratio is ridiculous. We are back at the factory and Ollie has now joined me after being such a cool guy driving that car <laughs> up and down the runway. I was highly jealous, um, but Ollie, you've been working with Back Mono now, BAC Mono for quite a long time. And you're about to talk me through the controls on the car that I'm gonna be driving. Yeah, exactly. So I can see the smile on your face already. I always say I can see the smile on the face of the driver through the helmet. It's that strong. But yeah, we just tested the car on the runway. Um, we had a bit of rain, but you got it out of the way, so now it's nice and sunny for your drive. We'll talk you through Perfect. the car and we'll uh, get you on the road. Uh, let's go. Just get in, just stand straight into the middle. It's all scratch-proof, stain-proof. So, and you just feed your legs straight down. Just stay there. Pedals a bit, a good uh, angle. And then the further down you go, the more you'll You'll want to sit higher yeah, and yeah, this way, yeah, then, and then you'll start to get more comfortable and you still will go lower and lower as well. <laughs> I have just completed my first mile in the BAC Mono and I didn't film it because the GoPro is now going to be running. Ollie is filming the cars up, there was just enough fuel to get us to the petrol station. Right now, I'm going to go for a drive. Flashing already, you don't need to take the wheel off. <laughs> made it we've made it back to the factory I have to say obviously I couldn't talk too much because I had a helmet on um, and the GoPro was facing the wrong way but what an awesome damn experience 
Oh, he's just pushing cars back. I was saying it's kind of easier to manoeuvre them around. It's One finger. Easy. One finger. <laughs> it's easier to push them around. Um, but I was concentrating so much on like finding the biting point and doing the sequential gearbox, which I'm going to go over in the car. I've got four hours to drive home, so I might as well chat to you guys about what an awesome experience this was. Okay, I have immediately started the GoPro as I'm leaving the industrial estate that BAC Mono um, is based at. And oh my God, like I've just jumped out of the car, said goodbye to Wally and I mean, <laughs> if you want a raw experience of automotive, engineering, racing, that you can have on the road, that car is just the perfect thing. So my car that I was driving, the black one, that's their first ever car that they've built. So as they've been going on building customer cars and new press cars and coming up with new updates, the one that I was driving is slightly underpowered, believe it or not, slightly underpowered compared to the one that Ollie was driving and slightly heavier. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that was plenty for me. It was so exhilarating when you planted your foot down on the accelerator and the whole car like vibrated. You felt every single revolution in the engine. And I, I mean, it was mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. When I got out of the car, I was kind of speechless to begin with. I just didn't really know what to say because the sense of speed sitting so low to the ground is the closest thing that I've ever experienced to driving anything close to your Formula One car and I know it's probably still a way off but it's got to be it is the pinnacle of road going version of a Formula One car. The sequential gearbox took a little while to get used to because you had to dip the clutch when you were coming to a stop and then have, find the biting point with the paddles that you probably would have seen. And then around town, Ollie was telling me that because that car and the gearbox is built to be going flat out around a track, it's better to dip the clutch to find the biting point when you're just driving around town because it's a lot smoother than just having your foot on the accelerator and banging it into gear, which you would have seen me jolt a couple of times. Right now, um, I'm just gonna get my head down and endure this drive home luckily the sun is shining and i need to pick up some food so thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this slightly different video to normal but i thoroughly enjoyed it and hopefully the videos have done it justice so subscribe if you haven't already double thumbs up and i will see you soon cheers guys